Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I've been asked to show you how to make a mandelic acid serum. One of the great things about mandelic acid is it is an alpha hydroxy acid, but it doesn't have a lot of the irritations or sensitivities associated with glycolic acid. Mandelic acid is fantastic as an antibacterial agent, and it's also great for darker skin types where pigmentation may sometimes occur from the use of other acids. It still provides fantastic skin renewal and skin exfoliation benefits, but without the irritation. And of course, it helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles associated with the skin renewal process. So now let me show you how to make a mandelic acid serum. Now you can contact us for the full formula method and supplier details. I'm starting here with my water and my glycerin. And to this, I'm adding some Sepimax Zen. This is a polymer that is highly electrolyte tolerant. It can handle just about anything you're gonna throw at it. And this is important in an electrolyte rich and acid rich product like the mandelic acid serum we're making today. A lot of your polymers just can't handle this highly acidic environment. So I'm using the Sepimax Zen so I can form a really nice gel form to the finished product. Now, one of the things you'll notice about Sepimax Zen is it takes a little bit of time to hydrate. So I've added it and I'm just stirring it to make sure I don't have any major clumps, but you can see here, it's not fully hydrated. What I'm going to do is finish adding all other components of the formula. I'm adding a hyaluronic acid copolymer material here. This just helps with skin penetration. I'm adding the mandelic acid. And in this formula, I'm using 5%. There's a really important reason for that, which I'll explain to you in a moment. I'm then also adding a plant extract, my preservative, and a little bit of fragrance. Now I'm just gonna stir this all together to combine it. And again, you'll notice that on the day I make it, the Sepimax Zen does not fully hydrate. I just wanna make sure that today it's not too clumpy so that by the next day, the polymer will be fully hydrated and I can form my beautiful serum. So on the day I make it, you can see that Sepimax Zen still hasn't fully hydrated, but it's dispersed evenly. I would now cover this and leave it till tomorrow. Now here's a sample I made yesterday, and you can see how the polymer has hydrated. I've just uncovered this sample to show you this is how it looks, this is quite normal. Now I'm able to give it a final stir And you can see it forms a beautiful serum consistency once it's been stirred the following day. And the polymer has hydrated evenly. Now the product I've made here is intended to be left on the skin. Obviously when you're using any sort of acid or skin renewal product, you should be protecting your skin from additional sunlight because you will be removing the outer cells on your skin to get that renewed surface. Now the very important thing I've done in this formula is I've kept my mandelic acid content to 5%. And at 5%, it will have a pH naturally occurring in this solution at about pH 3.5 which means we've got great bioavailability of the acid, but because of the cross polymer I've used and the large molecular size of mandelic acid, it won't cause excess skin irritation. You'd be best to use this with an SPF moisturizer during the day as well for added protection. One of the things to be careful of when you're making your mandelic acid products or any acid products for that matter, is don't add a high amount of the acid just to have a great label claim, and then adjust the pH up afterwards. For example, if I was to use 5% of mandelic acid and then neutralize it to bring the pH back to 5.5, I no longer have a large amount of mandelic acid bioavailable to have the best performance. 
You'll see some products out there claiming 10% mandelic acid content, and when you check the pH, it might be around four or five, which means they've neutralized at least half of the mandelic acid that they've added to the formula. You're actually better off using less of the acid to get the natural pH where you want it than using more of the acid and then neutralizing it so you've actually got less of the acid bio available by the time you've finished your formula. Remember, you can contact us for this full formula method and supplier details. I hope you've enjoyed this video showing you how to make a mandelic acid serum and ensure you've got a lot of the acid available for the best performance from the finished product. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.